Oh my god, that's not what I wanted, but... Okay. Yo, we got a new update. Specifically, they've added a few new things in the verse. The first one is you can now spawn your custom props. I have this creative prop. It's called... It's an apple. So what I can do to my apple prop, if I were evil enough, is I can actually dispose of it. If you guys didn't know, you can dispose of a creative prop, which is going to destroy it from the island. Okay, to restore our apple, first we need to make a new type of variable. This is a creative underscore prop underscore asset, not an actual creative prop. So I'm going to create an add editable to specify my apple asset. Initialize that to a creative underscore prop underscore asset. And the way we initialize this is by passing in a default prop asset. That's going to initialize it to a default asset, which we can then change later because we made it editable. All right, next in here, I'm just going to call spawn prop and you need to pass in your apple asset. And then after that, we can actually do the new thing which they added in verse which you can now pass in a transform instead of specifying an individual position then rotation then translation and so on so i'm just going to pass in a transform but this current transform that i'm passing is empty however you can specify each individual component by doing translate translation rotation and scale now in here i've created a few variables representing a translation rotation and scale and i'm just going to pass them in here like so with that in mind, I'm just going to call sleep before disposing of the apple five seconds. And then five seconds later, I'm going to spawn the apple prop. So in our verse, after you build the verse code and drag on your computer, you're going to see here we have our apple asset. But we have this weird thing gloping. I don't really care about this. But if I go in here, mine was called the new spawn. There we go. We get our new blueprint class which we can now pass inside of there. And that's all primed and ready to go. Five seconds later, oh my God, disappears. But five seconds after that, we should get, we get a big apple. Yes. But that's how you spawn uh, apples or any creative asset. By the way, I just did that with a simple nested for loop. We also have new queries for your fourth character. First, like always, fortnite.com slash characters up here. And then in here we can do, let's say, I don't know, view location colon equals fourth car dot get view location. And now we can test for the new function. So the way you use the new functions, I'm going to leave a list of them here, but you can check the verse API. You probably guess what they all do, but to actually get if and then call your fourth character, so fourth character pass in the dot and then call your function. I'm just going to call, I don't know, is on ground. And then you have to pass in these square brackets. What this is going to do is because this is square brackets, that means this function is, is failable. Sorry. So if it fails, then it's going to return false, which means the player is not underground. But if it returns true, then the stuff inside of the if is going to execute. So we can do print. You are indeed grounded butters or something. And I'm just going to print my view location. And then finally, I'm going to sleep for two seconds before calling this and we're in the game and we should see that two seconds later i should get the query you're indeed grounded butter one last thing if you call your apple prop dot move to you can now pass in a transform instead of passing every individual component separately so the scale rotation whatever so you can pass in your transform which means you can potentially store a transform variable somewhere up here and then just pass that in anytime you want to move to but that's pretty much it i hope that was helpful and yeah